Oklahoma City Public School students went back to school on Monday. Today marked the first day of class following the district's restructuring plan. The new plan closed 15 schools and reconfigured 17 others. One big change was to move Class and School of Advanced Studies High School to Northeast Academy, which was closed in the restructuring plans. The change has been a point of contention for many in the Northeast area, and some voice their opinions about the change on the first day of school. I just heard that some people would come over here today and I seen his name in the paper, so I said I'd come out here. It's on the Northeast side of town. It's been Northeast from day one. Why would you go put SC, some S up top of it, and Northeast on the bottom? This is Northeast, this is the black, black side of town. You, would, you wouldn't go out to Nickel Hills and change Nickel Hill School to Northeast, which the whole problem is classing. Where the sign said? Look at the sign up there. Where's, it's been Northeast. That's right. That's right. You done took something away from the people, the older generation. Yeah. It ain't no alumni no more. That's right. Come on. Look. Alumni is dead when they change the name to Classic. Northeast went out to do, but we still recognize Northeast because we're the old, old generation. It's okay for the young generation. New generation. Is a is thing coming now. But you, when you came over here in 62, 63, 64, and 65, you put time in over here to make Northeast what it was. Bigger, you're gonna have more people coming in. You know, cause they had a low down, you know, but it's gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna make it better in the long run. Just the name change, that's the only thing that hurt the people on these side. Northeast is Northeast, not classic. You know, you can, Northeast names at the bottom of the, they could've left that out. They could've put Donnell up there. It's been the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> they can't see it. The writing's so small. The writing is there. The writing speaks for itself. Last week, District Superintendent Sean McDaniel was in our studio and we spoke to him about the move and the name change. There certainly has been an outcry. We have, we have been made well aware that uh, there are a number of people who are not pleased with uh, my communication. And believe you me, I can always do a better job of communicating. Um, but, but that is balanced, that outcry and the, the, the displeasure is balanced by, I'll just give you my personal take, overwhelmingly the positivity that has come with moving uh, class and high school over to that site. It's coming from all directions, the business community, from neighborhoods, from parents who now have an opportunity, who live in that area, uh, to have a more accessible high school. Uh, one of our desires that we've made very public is is working with those who are interested in preserving uh, the history the legacy acknowledging and so we've thought about things like uh, we want input so that we can name a street over in that area on that campus after a prominent northeast graduate or teacher or principal uh, we want to name the library in class in high school after a prominent Northeast figure, whether it's a graduate uh, or somebody else who has really contributed to, to the history of Northeast High School. We want to take the, the first room you walk into, into the building, we have dedicated it as the Northeast High School Legacy Room. And so we want to fill it up with trophies and pictures and letter jackets and memorabilia so that people can come and visit and, and read about Northeast uh, High School. Um, so we have great plans that we've rolled out to many of the alumni um, and really want to keep moving down that path so that we, we can preserve and recognize and affirm all that that high school has meant over the years to that area of the community. So great plans in place um, and you'll see that roll out uh, over the next few weeks. One member of the Oklahoma City School Board, Charles Henry, filed a lawsuit with the Northeast Academy Alumni Association with the goal of forcing the board to reconsider the name change in a future meeting. That lawsuit is still pending in Oklahoma City Federal Court.